music is like how did you first start playing when did you first start playing well it was um when punk started say 75 yeah. 76 and i was a big music fan most of the music i was into was reggae music and soul music and i particularly like bass just like that bottom end feeling you know so uh when punk started out it actually gave people the idea you, 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 you can just play, you know, you can just learn to play and you can ignore all this mystique thing, you know, this whole thing about locking yourself away for years on end and becoming a virtuoso player. You, you can just play. I borrowed a few bases whenever I could off of people, picked a few ideas up, and I know Johnny Rotten for a while. And um, when the Sex Pistols all ran to a halt and uh, he wanted to get public image together, he got onto me and uh, took it from there. And I didn't really think about it, you know, I just played <clears throat> in a way that was natural for me to play, you know. How, did, how long were you in pill for? How long did that kind of go only on? Only about two years. Very intense two years. That's 78 to 1980. So I was in it for two years and I've been out for four, left four years ago. So next month it'll be four years. And why, why did you leave? Oh, the whole atmosphere was, was a bullshit one, you know, uh, too many hairdressers and Liggers hanging around, and it was, it was a, you know, these, these liggers who just come and, and hang around and, and suck like leeches, suck all the spirituality and direction away. And uh, it was a, there was too, too much of a feeling of self importance to it all. Before you were in pill, before you started playing in pill, did you like think of doing stuff on your own anyway? It's, it's like you're making music, and I've always wanted to make music in such a way that it's in a ritualistic way, you know, in a way that people it's gone on for centuries where uh, you, you're up lifting people's hearts in, like a, in, a, in a, almost a religious way, without being a sort of cosmic prat about it or anything, you know. The, the whole thing that was good about that time was the attitude, you know, and the fact that a few doors opened, you know, it was, you, you felt you could actually achieve something. Whereas the whole mood has now changed again with this whole Thatcher set up, whereas people now feel beaten and uh, it's a very uninspiring time. How did you come to uh, get involved with Holger Zuke and Jackie Lubas and, uh, you know, Connie Plank? He was a good friend of mine, Angus McKinnon, and uh, he knew Holger for a few years and all the can people. Holger was in that band, Can. Yeah. And one night he, he brought me round and I met Holger, and it was obviously we weren't there, we'd get together, you know. Angus said it'd be a good idea if you two get together. He's a funny fella, like a couple of years after that, he said to me, the, the first time I met you, I, you were drinking beer and I thought I'm not sure to play with this person because I don't like beer drinkers But then you started to drink wine and scotch and I thought you were okay <laughs> That was good. It was, it was great playing with him because they've, they've, they've had a strong musical background yeah. But they understand so much they understand in, this, in the spirit in which you make music, which is very important What does it feel like for you coming from this area to, to like go to New York and do an album? I mean don't you even yes. think about that? I mean, does it yeah, well, I, kind of... used to, yeah, I still do, yeah, it's still a buzz, uh, and you just think, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> it was like an animal, because he was in a band last year as well, he's from over White Horse Lane, way, and uh, when you come from this kind of an area, or any working class background in Britain, it's so, well, there's, there's it's really down much... to earth. Yeah. It's so down yeah. to earth that nobody can, can, will let you get away with uh, with being a big head around here or anything. So you have a good laugh about it, especially in America, when, in Los Angeles or somewhere, where you've got all this incredible bullshit. You know, hey, John, I really love you, baby. You know, and people, everyone loves you like a brother, you know, and it's, it's, it's really good. You have a good laugh about it, you know. You, you kind of feel spiritually stronger. Are you going to sort of do any more gigs this year? With the band, or or have you kind of? Like maybe towards the end of the year, we we'll get out like September, October kind of time. So the big step there is uh, if and when this island project is that thing, you know. Is it going to be a, a full album this time, as opposed to like the mini album you did last yeah. time? Yeah. Yeah. And apart from that, I've got this a new oh, a new single coming out on my label. Yeah. Which uh, we we got together, cut that, and that's coming out in about a month's time. So. 